Hi everyone, welcome to a new lesson. We continue talking about health and illness, giving advice and a new learning goal, which is expressing condition. All these learning goals from Unit 4. If you got a toothache, you shouldn't eat any sweets. There are many types of conditional forms. Today, we're going to study conditionals with should. Stay here. If you got a fever, you should stay home. The if clause introduces a condition, a possible action. Should introduces an effect. It tells you what you should do. You should go to the dentist if you got a toothache. If he's got a headache, he shouldn't drive. He should have some rest. She should cover her mouth if she sneezes. New vocabulary. A scratch. A burn. A cut. A bruise, a broken leg, an ointment, to apply, antiseptic, gauze, a broken arm, Let's see some more examples. If you got a cut, you should clean it and put a plaster. She shouldn't walk around if she's got a broken leg. When we got a burn, we should apply an anointment. If he's got a broken arm, he should have some rest. If she cut herself, she should clean the cut with antiseptic. When you've got a bruise, you should apply some ointment on it. If you've got a scratch, you should put some gauze on it. Story time! Today we have a story called Tender Flower and the Medicine. Are you ready for a story? This story is based on a Native American folk tale. It's called Tender Flower and the Medicine. A long time ago, there was a girl called Tender Flower. She lived in a village next to a big forest. Every day, she walked her dog Tick in the forest. I know this forest so well, she said. I can walk through it with my eyes closed. In winter, snow fell on Tender Flower's village. Snow covered the forest trails, but Tender Flower still walked in the forest every day. One morning, Tender Flower heard the sounds of coughs and sneezes coming from inside the village homes. Tender Flower's father looked worried. Lots of our people are ill, he said. They have high temperatures, headaches, and stomach aches. This is a very bad illness. Soon everyone in the village was ill, even Tenderflower's family. Only Tenderflower remained healthy. Tenderflower's father called her from his bed. We need medicine, he said. Go to the village on the other side of the forest. Ask the people of that village for help. I can't go myself. I am too ill. Tenderflower called Tick and they ran into the forest together. They ran through the snow like forest animals. They ran so hard and fast, they didn't even feel cold. Although she was very tired, Tenderflower told herself to keep running. 
Soon, Tenderflower arrived at the other village. She told the chief about the illness in her village. Take this medicine, said the chief. It will help your people. If they are weak, give it to them yourself. Thank you, great chief, said Tenderflower. Tenderflower put the medicine around her neck. She did not stop to eat or to drink. She and Tick ran back into the forest toward her village. They ran even faster than before. Now the snow fell harder. It was night. A strong wind blew into Tenderflower's face. The cold made her feet ache. Soon she was dizzy from running. Tenderflower didn't think about herself. She only thought about the people in her village. When Tenderflower was near her village, she fell. Her slippers got stuck in the deep snow and came off her feet. Soon her feet were covered with cuts, but she still kept running. Finally, she reached home and gave the medicine to the sick people in her village. Soon the medicine made everyone better. In the spring, Tenderflower went to the place where she lost her slippers. The slippers were not there. Instead, in their place, there were beautiful flowers. People now call these flowers lady slippers. The flowers remind everyone of the brave girl Tenderflower and of how she saved her people. The End Look after yourself You know what to do Do a lot of exercise And eat the right food But once in a while When you don't feel well Here are some things That you should do Stomach ache, you should tell your mother. If you've got a broken arm, you should see the doctor. If you've got a toothache, you shouldn't eat sweets. Go to the dentist and stay away from treats. treats. Look after yourself. yourself when climbing a tree a first aid kit will help you to take care of your knee if you've got a headache you can stay in bed or you can take some medicine to help your aching head look after yourself you know what to do Useful language. A scratch, raspón, rasguño. A burn, quemadura. A cut, herida, corte. A bruise, golpe, moretón. A broken leg, una pierna fracturada. An ointment, crema, ungüento. To apply, aplicar, antiseptic, antiseptico, gas, gasa, a broken arm, un brazo fracturado. 
Hoy aprendimos a expresar condición con if clause y should. El enunciado o cláusula if introduce siempre una condición. Should introduce un efecto o consecuencia. El should te dice qué deberías hacer de acuerdo a cada acción posible expresada en la cláusula if. El if significa sí, pero es un sí usado para condicionales, es decir, para frases condicionales, frases que expresan una condición. También estudiamos vocabulario adicional para hablar de lesiones o heridas. Además, escuchamos la historia sobre la joven Tender Flower y la medicina y la amena canción Get Well Soon.